Hey, hey, Cub fans. Thanks for joining us here on Cubs 24-7, where Randy talks Cubs. Cubs just finished off a 9-5 win over the Rangers this afternoon. Uh, tied going into the ninth inning, Cubs got four. So, um, boy, we, we hang tough. We leave uh, Texas uh, salvaging that one win, and I just think that's, that's huge. So, you know, it, before we get into the game and the details, I was thinking that it – it was kind of a struggle. Everything we did, it was kind of uh, rough going. And if you just want to take a big, broad uh, view of it, that Morrell foul ball uh, in game two that uh, he just hooked, I mean, it only missed being a grand slam by just a few feet. And, um, you know, we're that's how close we were to maybe going out of here uh, – with two wins against the defending World Series champs, so I, I know it looked it looked rough yesterday, and um, but big picture we got a win, and we have we really haven't played well, uh, but we we sort of salvaged it here at the end. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about what happened. Is another interesting game. Uh, let's do the lineups. Uh, Ian Happ led off DHing today. Suzuki was in right field hitting second. Belly was in center field hitting third. Morell. Uh, hitting cleanup at third base. Dansby at shortstop, hitting fifth. Michael Bush, first base in the sixth hole. Nico, second base, hitting seventh. Mike Talkman got a start in left field, hitting eighth. And Miguel Amaya got a start behind the plate, um, hitting ninth. So th we scored uh, three in the uh, top of the first inning. Got off to a really good start. It went like this. Um Isaiah hit a really solid 112 mile per hour a single. Uh, Bellinger followed him with a walk. And then Christopher Morrell hit a three run home run to left field line drive shot. Uh, sort of a no doubter. Um, wasn't a big fly. It was more of a line drive, about 403 feet. So uh, Morrell, three run bomb the first inning. We're up 3 0. Then we gave up two in the second. And the reason I bring that up, uh, I just want to talk about the errors that we had. We had two errors, but we didn't play well defensively. So in the second inning, Christopher Morrell had a throwing error that um, really ends up costing us a, a, a run. And it was a, a big three hopper. He sort of stayed back on it. And once he caught it, he didn't really take a crow hop or, or get any time. He just let it go. He yanked it. It was, uh, it was wide left. Bush tried to pick it, and he couldn't. Um, so it, it didn't look good at all. Morell's throwing air didn't, didn't look good. And uh, that throwing air was followed by a couple of walks and a hit. So we end up giving two back in the bottom of the second. Then we get two more uh, top of the fourth. Talk walked. Amaya singled. Hap singled. Scoring talk. Uh, Amaya scores on an error on the center fielder. So we pick up another two, and it's 5-2 uh, at that point. Then we gave the Rangers uh, three more in the um, fourth inning. Dansby had an error. It was a ground ball up the middle that looked like it may hit the bag. Dansby was well behind the bag. And I think because it looked like it might hit the bag, he flinched a little bit, maybe took his eye off of it, and missed it. So Dansby's error led to a, a run as well in the fourth inning. So that, that's sort of the scoring until we get to the ninth. We're in the uh, top of the ninth. Uh, no scores uh, happened uh, since the fourth inning, which surprised me. I thought it was going to escalate and be a 12-13 run affair. But uh, the, the pitchers regrouped, shut everybody down for the next four innings. So top of the ninth goes like this. A lot of walks. Bush walks. Nico has what I'm going to describe as a swinging bunt single. Talkman walks. Miles is in. He goes fielder's choice. Hap walks. Nico scores. Saya singles. Scores Talkman and Miles. Belly singles. Scoring Hap. So that's the four runs we got in the uh, the ninth inning. So three in the first, two in the fourth and four in the uh, ninth inning to win it. We had 12 hits total. We walked nine times and struck out six. So there was a ton of traffic. Uh, Hap got uh, A lot of guys got six at-bats, so we, we rolled through the, uh, 
the lineup. Uh, we did lose uh, some opportunities. We left 13 runners on. We were only 4 for 14 with runners in scoring position. Made two errors, Morels and Dansby's. Plus, Seiya Suzuki missed a, a line drive fly ball. He misread it, lost at the lights, not really sure. Um, and that happened in the sixth inning, but we got out of that unscathed. But there was a lot of choppy defense. Uh, just kind of a kind of a game where uh, we just still didn't look good. So it's it's to me it's really satisfying to know that we just hung tough. We it was a we grinded uh, the whole day. Uh, made some errors, made some mistakes. It was hard, and to come out of there with a uh, nine to five win, really good. So let's talk about what everybody did. Ian Happ officially goes four for five. Uh, so Ian looked really good today. He so four for five with a walk. Uh, Say Suzuki went. Uh, I got him for two for six. Bellinger went one for three with three walks, so he reaches four times. Christopher Morrell had the three-run home run. He ends up going one for five. Uh, they pulled him late, pulled him after he uh, popped up to third baseman uh, with runners on in the um, eighth inning. Madrigal played the, the ninth inning defensively. Dansby ends up going one for four. Um, Michael Bush goes 0 for four with the one walk. Nico goes one for three, and I want to talk a little bit about Nico's at bats. Now that we got Hap going four for five, and maybe his funk is over, he's ready to go because he did look really good. Uh, his walk in the ninth inning was critical, and he was really patient. So uh, he was down in the count and didn't chase. So uh, Hap looked like he was really good today. Nico went one for three, but the only hit he had was that um, that swinging bunt that he had in the ninth inning. So it didn't start well for Nico. His first at bat in the second inning, uh, he comes up and whatever he did, he he got a clock uh, penalty called on him. So he's not even in the box yet, and he's down 0-1. Takes the first pitch strike down 0-2, and then the pitcher gets, throws some heat up in his kitchen, and he fists this little slow roller right back to the pitcher. And it was a really bad first at bat for for Nico. So I'm I'm like, okay, he here we go again. Um, then in the fourth inning, he popped up to uh, the the shortstop, made a, a good running catch, running away from the infield. And then he got hit by a pitch in the fifth, flied out to right field in the seventh, but that was a line drive, so it looked a little better. Uh, and then the swinging bunt. So Nico at least got his first hit. He was on the bases. Uh, but Nico, to me, is unlike Hap, who I feel like broke out of it. Uh, I think Nico is still in it. So let, we'll get Nico going. It's any time, guys. N N Nico's going to bust loose. Uh, it's going to happen, and then then we can go. Talkman looked good, 0 for 2, but he walked three times. Uh, and I thought Talk played really well defensively in left field. I thought he made a really good running catch that probably saved a, a leadoff double late um, running hard to the left center field gap. So Talk, talk was helpful today. And I thought Miguel Amaya did really well. i uh, like to see him. I thought he, he caught the game and called the game, did everything like you would want him to do, goes two for four. So we had a lot of guys who, who got on base, played pretty well. Um, so it was good to see. So a little rough go defensively, a lot of traffic, 12 hits, nine walks, uh, a lot of guys uh, on the base pass today. Uh, so that's good news. Let's talk about the pitchers. Uh, Wicks started and goes four. He threw 85 pitches and gives up a total of five hits, five runs, only two were earned. Three walks, and he struck out six. I thought Jordan Wicks did great. And I'll tell you what, I think Jordan Wicks, I give Jordan Wicks the MVP because we needed Jordan Wicks today. Jordan Wicks, to me, was was the key to fending these guys off, and I thought he did. He didn't get any defensive help. They, he, they, they hurt him. Those, those errors put him behind the eight ball a little bit. But he fought uh, the second inning. He fought hard, and uh, he ends up uh, having a good outing, 85 pitches, and he did really well. So if you didn't watch the game and didn't know it and you just looked at his line, I don't think it, it tells the whole story about how how solid Jordan Wicks was today. 
Mark Leiter comes in, pitches the fifth, gives up one hit, walks a guy, strikes out another to get out of it. Julian Merriweather came in, uh, pitched the sixth and the seventh, so he goes two innings, just gives up a hit uh, in two Ks, and uh, Merriweather was on the mound when Say and Miss played that uh, that line drive that ends up going to the wall. So Merriweather pitched around that, uh, did really really well. Naris came in, pitched the eighth inning, gave up a hit, struck out two, and then Adbert. Uh, by the time he came in, I wasn't sure if they'd leave him in when we got the four in the ninth. Uh, I wasn't sure about it, but Adbert came in, uh, no issues, struck out two, and got out of the ninth, no problem. So. Guys, nine to five win. We leave. I would have taken a, 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 the one win if I had to pick going into Texas, getting that one win, coming back home. Um, Wicks doing well, hat breaking out. Uh, Nico's just about ready to do it. Uh, Morell is hitting bombs all over the place, but he's going to kick the ball around at third base. Looks like I'm just I'm just preparing myself for it. It looks like that's going to be the issue. Um, He's going to do it. We're going to have to put up with it or DH him or do what we did today, uh, put him in uh, late uh, with uh, Madrigal as a defensive sub. So we'll go ahead and we'll head, head home for a series with the Rockies starting tomorrow, one uh, one twenty. Uh, show to schedule to be on the mound. I know there's some talk of some weather issues, and I, I looked at the, the weather report. It looks like it could be a little rough, so I wouldn't be surprised if we delayed, got some cancellations, but – uh, as of now, scheduled for Shota on the mound against the Rockies tomorrow. Guys, thanks for checking me out here on uh, Cubs 24-7, where Randy talks Cubs. Cubs again 9-5 to over the Rangers, and we head back to Wrigley. Thanks for checking me out. Go Cubs, go.